Lord, good night. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. And it is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, uh, to be here tonight to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord everyone is in good health uh, and happiness, uh, regardless of our situation in the world. As I always say, beloved and friends, uh, Jesus says, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you, even unto the end of this world. It's not awesome. It's not great. Uh, it's not mighty, my friends, tonight uh, that we have uh, assurance uh, that God promised, God the Holy Spirit uh, promised to be with us uh, even in every situation, in every circumstances, uh, and every trial, and every testing. He said this verse, a thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but no evil shall befall thee, and no plague shall come by thy dwelling. Let's give a big hand tonight. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome, beloved and friends, uh, those who are here this morning, and those who are listening online on Facebook and YouTube. God bless you richly. There is a tremendous blessing awaits you tonight and I release a blessing upon your life physically, spiritually, socially, materially, financially, educationally, every year in your life. I pray that God will bless your marriage. God will bless your homes. God will bless your children. God will bless your business. God will bless your finances and everything you put your hands upon. God will bless and prosper and you are the seed of Abraham tonight my friends I build a hedge around your life I break every chain I break every barrier I break every fetter I break every evil and every book of darkness every generational curses are broken tonight every spirit of blacks against your life I destroy under the precious blood of Jesus for the blood of Jesus is so efficacious and the blood of Jesus is so powerful the blood of Jesus is the repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness tonight oh father I pray you give me in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit anoint my lips anoint my tongue anoint my voice as I minister your words your words will go forth with dunamis and the anointing of the Holy Spirit that many will be healed, many will be saved, many will be blessed, many will be delivered, many will be set free from every work of darkness. And tonight, my friends, whatever sickness you have, if you're suffering with a migraine headache, if you're suffering with pains from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, if you have arthritis pain, you have diabetes, you have a, a you have a blood cholesterol problem tonight, my friends, if you're suffering with cancer. AIDS, COVID, diabetes, monkeypox, if you have a blood issue, if you if you, you have a dialysis problem tonight, whatever the case may be, if you're blind, you're deaf, you're dumb, you're lame. My friends, if you're suffering from oppression, depression, frustration, anxiety, what the case may be, I'm here tonight to introduce you to the healer. Jesus Christ is still in the healing business, for he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes, I am healed, you are healed, we are healed, in Jesus' name, let's give him a big hand. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He's awesome, he's great, and he's mighty. Jesus Christ is the healer of your soul, and he's a healer of your body tonight. If you're sick tonight, I want to tell you that Jesus Christ will heal you and touch you and set you free. The thief cometh, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Christ comes that you might have life, and life more abundantly tonight. Who is the thief? The devil Satan himself. He wants to rob you of your divine health. He wants to rob you of your health and strength. He does not want you to enjoy true health and happiness and prosperity. My friends, in this world, you will have tribulation, trial and testing. There is no true peace in this world. No matter how you're rich, no matter how you're wealthy, you can have money by the truckloads. You can have money by the building, by, by the house full of loads of money. It cannot bring peace of mind only Jesus Christ can give you true peace and joy and happiness because the devil will give you with one hand 
and take it away from the other. I always say this, my friends and beloved, that we are living in a very sick and sinful world. We are living in a corrupt world, a world that is heading for destruction and chaos, a world of rat race. Everyone wants to get richer. Everyone wants to be on top. There is so much crookery and dishonesty, so much lies and hatred and anger and malice and jealousy in a world. Satan has everyone bound because he's the ruler of this world and he's the ruler of the system of this world. Whatever is happening today in this world, in our world is a work of the devil, my friends, because he wants to destroy this world. And very soon, he's going to plunge this world into a time of what we call seven-year tribulation period, where the Antichrist will rule and reign for seven years, which we call the New World Order, or the One World Government. But my friends, be not afraid. God promised us, he says, he says, when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound, the dead in Christ shall rise, and those who are alive and remain shall be caught up to meet the Lord God Almighty in the air. My friends, tonight I want to ask a question. Are you saved? Did you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Do you know him personally? My friends, is your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life? Jesus Christ says in his words, He is not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. He came into this world, not to condemn this world, but the world through him might be saved. My friends, Jesus says, come now and let us reason together, said the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, it shall be white as snow. Though it be like crimson, it shall be as wool. My friends, tonight, God wants to touch you and God wants to heal you and God wants to save your soul from the pits of hell. Hallelujah. I hear me tonight, my friends. Jesus says in his words, and we need to follow. And God says in his words, for God so love the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life eternal life and tonight my friends I'm here to tell you life on earth is very short three score and ten and by the reason of strength a few get a next ten years sixty seventy eighty ninety or hundred but that's not the end when you die the queen got ninety six but she had to leave this world and she gone to be with the Lord if she have accept Jesus Christ as a Lord and Savior and be born again and so my friends with every one of us uh, during our lifetime we have to make our decision we have to make our soul right with God the most important decision in life uh, we prepare for a career we prepare for the future we prepare for a family we prepare to buy a new car a new house uh, and land and do business and do business uh, and so many things uh, but the most important thing in life uh, men and women are not preparing for to reach Almighty God to prepare their soul when they leave this earth they know where going there's only two Please, uh, there is ever either heaven or hell, my friends. Uh, but God has given us uh, a free choice. Uh, so tonight, uh, you have a choice to choose what you want to be, you want to go. And tonight, my friends, I'll continue with part two of my message, uh, which I leave off this morning. My friends, uh, wickedness and adultery, these cases has nothing to do tonight. Uh, my friends, what I'm talking about, uh, these cases has nothing to do, my friends, uh, Hallelujah. With the end time, they were just the supernatural acts of God. In Genesis 41, my friends, Joseph experienced the drought, hallelujah, when Moses was warning the children of Israel about being disloyal to God. He told them the repercussions of disobedient to God commands in Deuteronomy 28. Verse 23 and 24, which reads tonight, my friends, and why heaven that is over thy head shall be brass, and the earth that is on the thee shall be iron. O Father, the Lord shall make the rain of thy land, and powder of dust from the heaven shall it come down upon thee. He says, until thou be destroyed. Hallelujah. Today we consider, my friends, thundering and lightning. 
fighting the helmet wind uh, such as typhoon and tropical cyclones and uh, earthquakes, uh, heat waves and wildfires uh, as extreme weather con conditions occur. They are people who consider these weather events uh, as signs of the end time. Meanwhile, my friends, some of these extreme weathers can be seen in the Old Testament from these few biblical examples tonight. We can see the extreme weather conditions have occurred since the Old Testament. Hallelujah. But indeed, in Matthew 24 tonight, verse Jesus lists several things that will happen. That will happen Matthew 24. Verse 4, uh, true to it, uh, Jesus answered and said to them, uh, what he says, take heed that no man deceive you, hallelujah, for many will come in my name, saying, say I am the Christ and will deceive many, will deceive many, and you will hear of wars and rumors of war, friends and beloved, see that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, must come to pass, but the end is not yet hallelujah for nations will rise against nations and kingdom against kingdom my friends and they will be famines they will be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in various places hallelujah all these are the beginning the beginning of sorrows my friends some interpreters point to every earthquake, every single natural disaster every single political turmoil today and every newsworthy more the things that happen in Israel as a true sign that the end times are rapidly approaching while the events we single singly approach into the last days they are not necessary indicators that the end times have arrived we do not know the reason I say this they are groups of Christians who point at some of these extreme weather conditions that the seal of Revelation chapter 6 there are some who even argue that these are the signs that the four horsemen <coughs> in Revelation chapter 6 are here and are those who even believe that all these extreme weather events are happening because the seven trumpets have been blown. However, tonight, I assure you, my brother and sisters, tonight, all of these extreme occurrences are not yet the doing of the four horsemen, of the seals, my friends, or the seven trumpets. Oh, my friends, when the book of Revelation truly comes upon this earth, it will be nothing like the world has ever seen before. What we are seeing are merely the birth pains, the birth pains today. Let's give a lot of Big hands like the rapture is happening. The rapture is happening sooner than people know, my friends. Very soon the trumpet will sound. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 51 to 53 tells us what does it say? Behold, behold, I show you a mystery. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. We shall be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. Hallelujah. At the last trumpet my friends for the trumpet shall sound the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised hallelujah incorruptible and we shall be changed hallelujah for this corruptible must put on tonight in on incorruption my friends and this mortal must put on immortality tonight my friends and beloved we shall not all sleep we shall not all sleep. There is a generation of believers tonight, my friends, a generation, generation of believers who shall not sleep. Our generation of believers tonight who shall be raised, who shall be raised and shall be permanently changed, permanently changed from corruption to incorruption. Hallelujah. From mortal to immortality tonight, my friends, there is a time coming 
where millions of people, my friends, will quite, quite, quite literally disappear from the face of this earth for sheer scale of this event will change everything forever. My friends, one can only wonder tonight the complete meltdown, the complete meltdown that will take place when this happens, my friends, and the whole world will see the Lord Jesus Christ when he comes in the rapture. This does not mean tonight that the rapture will be secret, my friends. The rapture is too big of an event to keep it secret. The sheer number of people who will be taken, my friends, will be impossible, impossible to keep it secret. There are millions of believers in Jesus Christ in the world today. Millions of brothers and sisters, my friends, all across the world. Millions of born again, washed blood believers, my friends, don't fall into the trap of believing tonight that there, there are a small number of Christians, but all across the globe, my friends, you will find believers in America, in Africa, tonight in Europe in Asia you will find the believers who believe this is a wonderful thing about the Lord Jesus Christ tonight he died for for raw mankind he died for he died for all mankind one race that is the human race regardless of your aesthetic tonight your country or border of the color of your skin tonight Jesus died for you Jesus Christ died for all mankind, mankind, male and female tonight. There were men and women who were walking with the Lord Jesus Christ. My friends and beloved, if the rapture was to happen today, they will all be taken away. The rapture is happening soon. After the rapture, the world will change, my friends, and never be the same again. We won't know when the rapture will take place no one does but at a time in human history the rapture will take place hallelujah we are all moving on a timeline a line we now I can call time my friends on this line there is a beginning and there will be an end and somewhere on that line there is the rapture history is not saying stay saying in one place history is not a stationary history tonight it's moving from the beginning to the end hallelujah history is moving tonight my friends God has a timeline of event and on, 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 and on God's timeline there are things that will occur at God's appointed time hallelujah humble yourself and submit submit to the Lord's timeline of events my friends God does not work on your timeline or to end to, to or to my timeline he operates on on his own timeline tonight humble yourself and know that God is large and is in charge and know that all the events of prophecy will happen in God's perfect timing hallelujah and not in your flawed timing tonight to believe that the rapture will not happen my friends is because it's happening in your lifetime his pride, Apostle, Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 19 tells us, my friends, if you, if, if all the hope we have in Christ ends in this world, then we, we are all of, of all men most miserable, most miserable. Now if we also have hope in Christ beyond this evil world, then we, my friends, are of all men most blessed, most blessed the hope that we will someday be welcomed by our Lord Jesus and Savior in the air. Give us the strength to overcome whatever ch ch challenges we might be facing at this present time. Hallelujah. The, the rapture will be fulfillment of the promise that Christ made before the left, before he left the world. One of the most wonderful things about the Lord God Almighty is that he is the God of integrity. He is not a, a fake man who changes my hair and there. He is a God of integrity. Hallelujah. He is not a 
double minded. He is a God of integrity tonight. He is not deceptive in his nature. He is a God who upholds his world. My friends, he is a God who upholds his word tonight. And before he left this world, our Lord Jesus Christ will make the promise in John chapter 14. And the rapture is the fulfillment of the, of the promise. John chapter 14 verse 1 to 3 tells us, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That, that where I am, where I am, there ye may be also. Hallelujah. That is the desire of every child of God tonight. That where Christ is there, there they may be also, my friends. A true child of God is not in love with this world a true child of God God desires yearns and longs to be with the Lord Jesus Christ a child of God tonight looks forward for to the rapture listen to the words of Jesus Christ I will come again and receive you unto myself hallelujah that where I am where I am there he may be also the rapture is happening soon my friend he is preparing a place for you and I and I and what you are worried about Jesus is coming soon give a Lord a big hand and you are your and your problems will be that bad that you look at your problems in light of the fact that Jesus is coming soon heart will not be troubled now I I, I, I will be troubling something that temporarily will know all for all of eternity I will be with the Lord Jesus Christ and his holy angels looking forward to the rapture is happening soon the true remains and that is a fact tonight that the rapture will happen I cannot tell you the date of the rapture tonight as a prophet for the years left or the hours left before the rapture but what I can tell you tonight as a man of God is that it is coming sooner than you can ever imagine. Give the Lord a big hand tonight. What else do you want to give? We have been warned. We have been told the signs to show the rapture is near. And we are seeing them already, my friends. We have been told, hallelujah, to enter into the ark, to be saved tonight. And we are seeing that the rapture is still far. Look, my friends. The rapture is here. It is closer, closer than before. And that is the time of our salvation. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 13 verse 11 tells us. Uh, and that knowing the time, knowing the time and that now it is high time, high time to wake out of sleep, hallelujah, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe, hallelujah, you need to wake up my friends, wake up, you need to stop sleeping, wake up tonight and be prepared, be prepared, the rapture is nearer, it can happen anytime, for now my friends, live your life as it will happen now don't live your life like it will happen tomorrow don't live your life like it will happen next week live like it will happen my friends any moment from now stop predicting when it will happen hallelujah that is not your job tonight it is no man's job the time and a day are not yours to worry about just know it is nearer than before tonight. You need to worry about how, how that day will be. My friends, you need to be concerned about your position in Christ. Now, right now, my friends, 
And this is a plea to every one of us who are listening, listening to this rapture is a mystery. It will happen at an unexpected time, my friends and beloved. Not anyone will make it. Not every, everyone will make it. This is a fact that we need to tell ourselves that not everyone will make the rapture. But please, please, will you make it? Will you be part of those that will be transformed? You will be part of those that will meet Jesus Christ in the sky will you be part of these people who we call the people of God and be with God this is not something you should joke around joke with these material things you are acquiring you will not help when the, when the trumpet sounds the private jet you have will not fly you to meet with Christ in heaven the mansion you have my friends or the skyscraper you have built will not allow you to meet with Christ in the sky my friends I'm just being truthful to you tonight I'm not telling you the truth I'm telling you the truth it will not make any sense if you have billions of dollars and my friends and then none which is useful after the rapture it is not saying you should not work and have money I'm not saying you should not buy cars and don't do things like that at the expense of heaven but chase fast cars and forget about the rapture don't build skyscrapers and mansions and forget my friends to build your relationship with God Almighty what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and then miss out on the rapture tonight what shall it profit you tonight if you will get that contract and then you cannot make the rapture my friends you might thinking the rapture is is far and you might be thinking you can still quickly commit a sin commit sin and an act of forgiveness later my friends we must watch and wait honestly for the rapture event by living a holy life these are not unholy that will be associated with Christ my friends if you will be counted worthy at the rapture of the saints we must live our lives with, the, with the, this, the, the, the consciousness that the rapture could take place at any time give the Lord a big hand no one knows the day in which the event will happen it is going to be the most sudden event in the world that will ever take place on this earth blessed are those who will be found ready my friends are you ready tonight is, it, is the rapture should take place now my friends are you sure you will be taken tonight? Hallelujah, my friends. Only you know tonight your relationship. I want to encourage you tonight. Are you safe tonight? Is your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life? Are you ready for the rapture or are you ready to go through the hell on earth, the seven year tribulation period? God has given each and every one of us a free choice. The choice is yours. God will not choose for you. Your husband cannot choose for you. Your wife cannot choose for you. Your children cannot choose for you. Your parents cannot choose for you. Children, each one of us have to make out, make our own salvation with, with, with fear and trembling we have to make sure that we are saved my friends in this flesh we cannot please God that is why man is made up of body soul and spirit and Jesus says unless a man be born again he cannot enter into the kingdom of God that which is born of the flesh is flesh and that which is born of the spirit is spirit my friends, you need God in you in order to make the rapture. You need to be saved and you need to be filled with God, the Holy Spirit. And if not, you will left back here. You will left back here to face the Antichrist in the seven year tribulation period, which is coming, which is hitting the world very soon. For the stage is already set. And I always say, very soon, the 195 sovereign nations, many of them will lose control. 
control, especially in Europe and especially in NATO, my friends, for the reign of the rule and reign of the Antichrist. But my friends, those who know Jesus and are saved, you will not be here. You will be in the marriage supper of the Lamb, the seven years of marriage supper of the Lamb with the Lord Jesus Christ in heaven. During that period of time, man can you be in chaos and confusion and disarray and torment and really tortured upon earth during the reign of the Antichrist. My friends, I advise you as a prophet, as a man of God, to make the right decision. Is your decision secure? Don't let earthly positions, possessions like Eon Mosque. Eon Mosque says he does not need God. Well, surely he says he has no problem going to hell. Don't be like hell. Don't be like him because he does not know what hells look like. My friends, don't be so foolish today in this world that you can have all the wealth and riches and go and your soul loss and end up in a lost eternity. My friends, life is not the end at 60, 70, 80, 90 or 100. We, our souls never die. We, our soul, it, always, it is eternal. Only the physical body will die here, but our soul will live on for all eternity. Where will you spend eternity? There is only two places, either heaven or hell. The choice is yours. Sorry to be so sharp tonight and to be so stern, but my friends, make the right decision in Jesus' name. My friends and beloved, it has been a great joy and privilege tonight to be here live on Facebook and YouTube and be in the studio. And my friends, those who are listening to me, I know that God will bless you and help you. And I did not forget to pray for you. Those who are sick tonight, I'm here to tell you that Jesus will touch you and heal you. For God is no respect of person. And tonight, God says in his words, we must lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. But God, with God, there is no distance and no barriers. And wherever you are tonight, in your living room, in your dining room, in your kitchen, in your car, in your office, in church, or right here, wherever you are wherever you are tonight and you're sick my friends Jesus wants to set you free from every demonic forces of darkness you will have sweet night rest tonight and those who sick unto death and the doctors have given you up and say that you will not die you will live tonight I'm here to tell you that you will not die hallelujah you will live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny because God has not finished with you as yet. God has not finished with you as yet. God will touch you and heal you and set you free. In Jesus' name, let's give the Lord a big hand tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, right now in the name of Jesus. I set for the anointing right now. Be healed name of Jesus. Be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit. I see many are healed, many are saved, many are delivered, many are set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every walk of darkness. Let's give a Lord a last hand tonight for the healings of Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I miss my trapping tonight, but my hand is healing. Within a few days, it will be back to normal. In Jesus' name, I thank you for the healing also in Jesus' mighty name hallelujah praise god my friends i love you in the love of god do have a wonderful sweet night person i see you tomorrow morning by the grace of god in jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name amen and amen praise god praise the lord